pipers have been driving and inspiring soldiers in Scottish regiments since ever they were raised and held the first muster. The music of the bagpipe has steadied in defence, rallied in retreat, instilled courage in the assault and provided dignity in death. The pipes and drums of the Scottish regiments are an integral part of our Scottish heritage. Initially formed to lead soldiers into battle and to convey instructions around the battlefield, their morale-raising qualities and historical roots are still an immensely powerful reminder of who we are and what our forefathers in these regiments did in the past. Today, the pipes and drums of our Scottish regiments still play a pivotal role in maintaining the links and profile with wider society, both within the United Kingdom and overseas. The British Army is extremely proud of its Army School of Bagpipe Music and Highland Drumming, and its reputation as a centralised school of excellence, where pipers and drummers from across the Army receive instruction at all levels. It's an honour to do the tattoo. Uh, it's a thing that you do see on the television and you think one day I would love to do that. There's nothing more brilliant than the feeling that you actually get as you cross the drawbridge and go through the smoke. Just you come across that drawbridge, old tears go up in the back of the neck. It doesn't matter if it's the first time or it's the 20th time you come across there. It's feeling really excited, you know. Just can't, can't wait to get out there. The traditional and unforgettable welcome to the heart of Scotland's history. As the 200 strong, massed pipes and drums enter across the drawbridge. The Army School of Bagpipe Music and Highland Drumming is based at Inch Drewer House, Collington Road, Edinburgh, and offers fantastic facilities to all its students. With your hands in that position, covering all the holes, the note we'll get will be low G, and it sounds like this. Can you try that, please, Ben? Can you help me? I am responsible for training all pipers and drummers within the Army. This training is essential in maintaining the high standards that are expected from military pipes and drums within the Scottish regiments. The piping and drumming instructors at the Army School of Bagpipe Music and Highland Drumming are highly qualified and the best the Army can offer to its soldiers undergoing musical training. This is the first stage in learning for pipers and drummers. There is no requirement for the students to have any prior knowledge of their chosen instrument. On the beginners class 3 course, they are taught completely from scratch and learn all that is required in order to take up a place in one of the regular pipes and drums. This includes the basic exercises and practical skills, moving on to the instrumental technique, being taught basic theory of music and instrument maintenance, including setting reeds and tuning drones. Finally, mastering the drill movements relevant to army pipe bands. After only six months, the students are able to put on a small display as a pipe band. On the, on the pass out parade on Thursday, I get to play in front of my, my family and friends and, and show them how far I've come and, and uh, you know, just to show them that I've worked hard and this is what I can do now. And this is the outcome of me working hard. For anyone who has learned before joining the Army, the school runs numerous courses that are designed to improve technique and musical skills at all levels. There is a course for everyone, regardless of ability. I've been in bands for years and he's getting tuition that I never had access to. So is everyone else getting the tuition. The standards go through the roof. It's tremendous. The courses here train young recruits to become very competent pipers in just 22 weeks, particularly on the Class 3 course. And the huge support they get from their families, their regiments, and particularly the instructors here is a credit to the school itself. The best student, Trooper Key. Very proud of what the Army have done for him and what he's achieved in the 22 weeks that he's been up in Edinburgh. I was really shocked when I got the award because I really didn't think I would get it. It was unexpected. He couldn't even play, he couldn't even blow the bagpipes up at Christmas and he's, I, can, I can see a vast improvement in him since then. So, it's amazing. 
If you're a young piper or drummer, or even considering learning and would like to experience what the Army can offer, why not join your local Army Cadet Force Pipes and Drums Detachment? There are several of these detachments throughout Scotland. The Army Cadet Force is a fantastic organisation. The Pipes and Drums meet up in Inverness every year. They get into the fun of it, they love putting their kilts on, they love getting the tuition, getting their pipes and drums out, playing, mixing, meeting people from different areas. This is a great time for the kids, they really enjoy it. And the highlight of the week is when we all go downtown, wear our best uniforms on and actually have a parade through the town where most of Inverness comes out to see it. Parading's the best thing for me, uh, especially being leading drummer as well. Hopefully, maybe I'll join the army in the later future. I am commander recruiting for Scotland, and in that role, it's my responsibility to recruit as many young pipers for the Scottish regiments as I possibly can. I've been playing the pipes for 11 years, and I've won junior Scottish champion two years in a row at the National Piping Centre. The Intermediate Class 2 and Senior Class 1 courses are designed for those with some experience. On these courses, students will be taught how to improve their technique as well as being introduced to performing solo in front of an audience or at a competition. As a senior pipe major in the British Army, I have the privilege of being this year's lone piper at the Edinburgh Military Tattoo. So I must go away now and get changed into my full dress uniform. Castle Ramparts, the senior pipe major of the British Army, pipe major Paul Selwood, Scots Guards, plays Donald Blue, Lights Out. <laughs>